will tell you this. When I look at the Cowboys, I think that they have a roster that can compete for its Super Bowl championship. And last time I checked, the quarterback position is an incredibly pivotal position. And if your quarterback has is surrounded by guys who have the capability to get it done, then it comes down to you because of the, the, the priority of your position. If you are a big-time quarterback, you can win the Super Bowl with this Dallas Cowboy team. Am I off kilter for saying that? Well, you know, you know just like uh, you look against the Packers, uh, a game which, you know, I felt like they should have won. If CeeDee Lamb goes in front of the safety, instead of going behind him, it wouldn't have been an interception. Uh, and that one touchdown could have been the difference in the ball game. Uh, so, so you look at the supporting cast, he's got to play better as well as Dak. Um, now, you know, I, I'm not saying Dak's you know, played fantastic. No, he hasn't been as sharp since he's, since he's come back from the injury. By the same token, the supporting cast has got to be better as well. Okay. You know what's interesting, Jimmy, and it's great to have you with us here. Think about the NFC quarterbacks who are right now in an opportunity to get to a Super Nobody knows about Hurts in a fourth quarter in a big game. And right. I know he's played great, but you got to see more. Everybody can't stand Cousins, including my little partner over there on these Wednesdays. And then you throw in Garoppolo, who everybody, you know, they were going to play Lance. So, to me, the four best, t- and Daniel Jones, I mean, every- let's leave Brady right. and Rodgers out. There's a lot of question marks at the game's most important position when it comes to the NFC playoffs, which makes it very interesting. Let me hear your thoughts on that. Yeah, I, I think when you look at the, the AFC, I mean, you know, of course, you're going to look at Kansas City and Buffalo. You know, but you look at the NFC, uh, yeah, yeah, there's three or four teams. I, I mean, you can throw a dart at any one of them, and they got a shot at making it to the Super Bowl. Right. Whether or not it's Philadelphia or Minnesota, Dallas, the 49ers, Tampa. Uh, you take one, any one of those teams can make it because I don't think any one of them is that strong. Uh, but, you know, they're, they're good teams. I don't think any one of them is a great team. You know, Coach, I don't know if you can see me right now, but I'm holding oh, yeah. a book. Okay, <laughs> this book right here. I don't know why you're frowning. You're living a good life. You got a smile on your face every time I see you. You live better than most. I'm scared of fishing like you and Bill Belichick like to do. I'm scared <laughs> to get on that damn boat. You'll never see me on there. I'm scared of the ocean. But I'm going to tell you I'll this, pro- Coach. I'll probably throw you in the water. That's what I'm saying. I mean, yeah, why, would you do that? why would we do such a thing to be all oh, coach that hurt? But let me ask you this question, okay? See, the, the book is entitled Swagger, right? And it's got blue in the background, those cowboy blue colors. We know you won <laughs> back-to-back Super Bowls with the Cowboys. So that, uh, that, that automatic identification is going to kick in. When is the last time, in your estimation, the Cowboys have been entitled to have swagger. Well, swagger is winning. And so they won a little, but they haven't won great. Uh, so, you know, until you win and put a ring on your finger, I don't know that you can have swagger. Mm. You see what I'm saying? You see? see and I got I a bunch you. of rings, Stephen A. That's why I love you. <laughs> I got a that's bunch of rings. You. That's why I love you. 1964 national champion, Miami, 1987 national champion, two-time Super Bowl champion. You got rings. See, that, have I ever had a problem with you? No, because Jimmy Johnson wins, okay? But the rest of these dudes, I got questions about. Doggy, the floor is Oh, what a great coach. Jimmy, uh, let's ask you a history question with you. I know you were young, and I know Jerry's impossible. I do know that. In essence, when you look back, did you make a mistake leaving Dallas after winning? You would have won two or three more. Did you make a mistake leaving Dallas and ending up in Miami? No, I, I, I left Dallas. I wasn't having fun. Uh, the first Super Bowl, I was ecstatic. You know, we, Tom Landry's one of the greatest coaches of all time. You know, but he had three straight losing seasons. He was 3-13, and 13, worst team in the league. They were, you know, they didn't have a lot of talent. And I was very proud to take that team and win a Super Bowl. The second Super Bowl, Emmett holds out the first couple of weeks. We struggled. We got a target on our back. Everybody on, in the organization wanted more, more accolades, more money, a new contract. You know, you know, and so, you know, it was a struggle uh, as far as that second year, the second Super Bowl. And so I wasn't having fun. And then, of course, Jerry and I were starting to clash over the contract. And so I said, hey, you know, uh, there's no need for me to continue with this. 
Uh, I've accomplished what I wanted to accomplish. And so I moved to South Florida and went to, you know, Fox NFL Sunday uh, and where I've, I've had a ball with my guys. And and you talk about the Miami thing. Hey, I would have loved them won another Super Bowl there. We went to the playoffs three straight years. We won a couple of playoff games, but we didn't win a Super Bowl. So that was a disappointment. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.